Well, hello YouTube, uh, October 26th, uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, double crop bean harvest here. Uh, I'll know a lot more when we get them unloaded off the grain cart, but I'd say they're uh, Monder showing 29. Uh, this is what me and uncle, my uncle owned together. Uh, I was low earlier when I, we done the first load. Uh, I mean, regardless, 29 bushel double crop beans followed by there's 95 uh, bushel an acre of wheat here. Uh, still not bad. Uh, deer really ravaged this one. I mean, that's just the kicker of that. Just yeah, you're fighting deer, and it's just lovely having deer problems. Uh, and yeah, just. And when your wheat's that good, that's just kind of what you have. That's what everybody's kind of always told me. Just when you got that good of wheat and all that, it's just part of it. You got thin spots. Uh, but also, there might have been moisture to sprout the beans, too. I don't think there was. Uh, uh, the one rain, maybe, as well, might have sprouted them. And uh, they might have died, too, this year. I mean, who knows? Uh, that, perhaps, is kind of my thinking as well, some, too. Uh, don't know exactly, uh, give or take, and I just, just, just don't know. Uh, hard to tell. Uh, but I'm still doing good. I mean, I'm not complaining, and uh, I, I, you know, I kind of said they wouldn't make 25. Uh, we did have some more rain down here as well, so that kind of did help too. Uh, not enough as our further south farms, not as not as much as that, but still. Won't complain, but good wheat and still okay double crop beans. I mean, for what the year is, uh, yeah. Not our best down here. I mean, uh, three years ago, they made 45. Uh, got rain. Got rain, and basically we planted, we planted them, and they was up in like six days because we had moisture. So that was a big help, too. Uh, this year, we planted them, and there was no rain for about two weeks. Uh but I'm showing in the 40s in places, 45, 48. So heck, you know, the potential was there. Uh, did a little bit of tillage yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, ground is hard. Uh, ripper, we tried to get the ripper set that night. Uh, just right, 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 right out of time. Uh, did some monkeying with it. Found a few things I had to go by because they were... Uh, bent uh, uh, which it is what it is uh, no big deal got the part the parts supposed to be at my shop today uh, I have not called them to see if it was brought up for me hope it was I want to get it put on and uh, that'll help me too. make sure things are working right uh, get it slapped on and I'll know a lot better uh, but just not working right uh, we had how I had it said it should be it should have been going about 10 inches deep uh, yeah it's only going about seven uh, took out stops three times uh, different stops in on that you can put them in uh, yeah I still couldn't get it basically the chisel pile hard plans or we chisel pile the past four years as deep as it can go uh, so that would help it make it work better too as well. The levers wasn't filling in, which now we know why, because it's not going in the ground. Uh, I end up and put it where the point would kind of nosedive, where maybe the point might kind of grab in the ground. Uh, and that still didn't help. Uh, then in turn, I put the uh, disc blades in deeper, the front disc gang in deeper, put more pressure on them. Uh, so that really didn't help me anything there. Uh, especially with what I was trying to do with the points because it didn't do anything so I went back to where it was uh, I guess just gonna rip what I can't rip uh, what I'm doing and go from there uh, now went right across the road to some bean stubble that I didn't really intend to rip uh, just so hey I'll try I tried it there two weeks ago three weeks ago tomorrow and it worked fine so uh, but it was ripped last year too uh, so heck, went over there, ripped a little bit, uh, called it, and uh, after lunch, got uh, quit there for lunch. 
Uh, after lunch, went and got the chisel plow hooked on, unhooked the green cart, because I didn't think we was going to be able to cut double crop beans. So, did not worry about that. So, went and uh, got that all unhooked. Uh, put the chisel plow on it. I'm like, I'm going to go try some corn stalks that was ripped last year. Yeah, the uh, disc blades weren't even doing anything. They were basically just, yeah, it wouldn't even go on the ground. Like, I was just making a mess. Uh, like about four inches deep to three inches deep. So that was out. Uh, thought, well, heck, I'll try the bean stubble here because I kind of said I wanted to chisel plow it. Uh, it's not going as deep as it should be. Probably lacks about two inches, but this was done pre-hurricane. So I think the moisture may be kind of sealed in, which we went up where we had manure and it went in fine, but 7,000 gallon of water, or water, manure, however you want to say 7,000 gallon of liquid put in there uh, with a lot of moisture bringing up, which made sense and went to the ground easy. Uh, so I went ahead, went back tomorrow, went back down on my bean stubble and did something. Uh, we'll start the ripper back up tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to get the other guy here, get the ripper going, then I'll start mowing around fields, uh, getting that done while he's here and just kind of trying to keep that rig going. Uh, try and hopefully get all the mowing done by. Tuesday, I hope. I don't know if I can or not, uh, but I'm going to try. Uh, mowing our ditches out. That's the main thing right now. I'm worried about getting the ditches mowed out. Mowed out, mowed out, mowed out, at least. Uh, so go from there. So that's doing what we, doing what we can what we can do. Uh, calling for rain Thursday, Friday. It would be darn nice. Uh, this double crop stubble, I don't know if the chill pile will go in the ground here. I really do not know if it will go in the ground. I, I do not think it will. Uh, I always like to chisel plow it because it it just dries out better, and you're kind of mixing that stubble and straw in. Uh, the ripper does okay. I just I like to chisel plow it kind of that way. You're kind of the ripper don't really bury trash. It just kind of holds trash. Uh, sorry. The ripper don't really bury trash. It just kind of kind of sits it there on top and uh, this wheat stubble I kind of want it mixed in we, it's, uh, if it's froze yeah I'll, hey, I'll do it pick up my levelers and do it but if it's not froze I, I kind of want to mix it in get that straw to kind of rot, rotting and decaying because uh, this is always going to hold wet anyway uh, this here is going to my this old 60 acres is going to Milo next year anyway so uh, no big deal but this is all going to grain sorghum here Milo however you want to call it uh, so yeah, no big deal there on that. Uh, that'll be done and out of the way. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I guess that's what's going on. Hope to be back and ripping tomorrow. I won't rip any tonight. Well, I forgot to do a set of endros where I was at, but I do want to go rip a barn lot where I'm at. Uh, I do not want to rip with a chisel plow as hard as it is. It's that mucky, really hard, nasty clay, so I would as soon take the ripper through it. Uh, in case there's something in there. I mean, there hasn't been, but just I don't want to tear something up as hard as it is. Uh, them springs are really springing. I mean, man, they're really moving back and forth, so I'd as soon try and stay out of the really hard ground if I could. And uh, kind of go from there. Uh, so we shall see. And, uh, sorry, I'm playing with my setting a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we shall see on that and go from there. Uh, well, hindsight, it's not working bad. I don't know if you can see the sample. I mean, it's hard to see my pretty window. Uh, I end up being a pretty good pile of beans here. Uh, more than I think. Uh, I'm showing right at 30 right now. Uh, yeah, who knows. Uh, well, that's my update. I uh, hope you all enjoy. and We'll go from there. Uh, so... Have a good night, have a good rest of your night, a good weekend, and we'll chat later.